Hey, Ron here from Military Images Magazine. Thanks for joining me on a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. This morning, I'm researching reports about the Battle of Fredericksburg for an upcoming story in the magazine. Every Union report, that was my focus this morning, every Union report I read has a positive spin to it. I don't have to tell you students of the Civil War that Fredericksburg was a major defeat for the Union Army of the Potomac. So uh, this phenomenon is not limited to Fredericksburg. This idea of after action reports written by the colonels, the generals, all tend to spin positive. No matter what engagement operations, these officers tended to shine a positive light on the actions of their men and of their units. And so this focus on the good, this phenomenon, it's human nature. It's human nature at work. As beings, we tend to accentuate the positive. So as I was going through the reports this morning and sort of chuckling to myself as I read positive report after positive report about Fredericksburg, it caused me to think of the one man, the one general who would call this out. And you know who he is, William Tecumseh Sherman. Such a keen observer of the human condition he was bold. He was as bold with the pen as he was with the sword. And he didn't mince words on this subject. In fact, in his memoirs, he calls out this behavior. And of course, he does it in his, his humorous, somewhat humorous way. But he's also making a really pointed and candid observation. So I want to read you his quote, because I think you'll find that it says in an economy of words, it calls out this curious part of our human condition. So here you go. Quote, I wish my friends and enemies to understand that I disclaim the character of a historian, but assume to be a witness on the stand before the great tribunal of history to assist some future Napier, Allison, or Hume to comprehend the feelings and thoughts of the actors in the grand conflicts of the recent past and thereby to lessen his labors in the compilation necessary for the future benefit of mankind. In this free country, every man is at perfect liberty to publish his own thoughts and impressions, and any witness who may differ from me should publish his own version of facts in the truthful narration of which he is interested. I am publishing my own memoirs, not theirs, and we all know that no three honest witnesses of a simple brawl can agree on all the details. How much more likely will be the difference in a great battle covering a vast space of broken ground when each division, brigade, regiment, and even company naturally and honestly believes that it was the focus of the whole affair? Each of them won the battle. None ever lost. That was the fate of the old man who unhappily commanded. So there you have it. William Tecumseh Sherman on that curious phenomenon, that human nature, that positive spin that we all tend to do. Until we meet again on the trail, take care. <laughs>